What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlook here. So we're going to talk about Scream 6 in this video primarily today. We're going to be going over Courtney Cox and her new comments that she made during an interview recently today with Variety in addressment of or addressing her role in Scream 6, Gail's new role, addressing the chase scene that she has and the new book also so courtney again has hyped up mostly her chase scene and addressed the requel book that we know she's written based on the events of screen five that i've seen people dismiss as just leaks that are fake no they're not fake <laughs> this is actually in the movie and now courtney has commented on it so during an interview with variety courtney stated this i have a really good scene with ghostface and it was amazing i've obviously been stabbed many times and all that but this time to work with ghostface and not know who's under the mask it was a really fun experience usually by the time i'm getting stabbed i know who it is so this chase like we've seen teased in the tv spots we've heard dashes of the dialogue and obviously she's going to be doing exactly what i thought she would be she's being very snarky she's showing a lot of arrogance a lot of confidence she's acting like she made ghost face is actually the energy that i'm really liking about the phone call we know that this chase has so many people anxious because it legitimately looks like gail is going to die and there's a strong chance that she might but they're they are literally flashing it in our face so much that I'm on the side of believing she will make it out of this movie alive. However, what if she loses an eye? I mean, the blade is coming down pretty close to her face when it does come down in that recent TV spot we saw. So what if it hits an eye? I mean, it's a risk I take without killing her and at least a very bold way of telling your audience, yes, we went there before and we will go there again, just not this time. And it's a very dark thing you could do without killing another legacy character. Uh, in another way, I guess you could say to keep it safe, but still doing something heartbreaking to the character. So she went on to address the book she said that Gail still lives in New York, which is great because now the killers in New York, just as Sam and Terry have moved there, it's kind of it kind of fell right into her lap. She wrote a book afterward. She told Sam that she wouldn't. And then, of course, she did, because, I mean, someone was going to do it. So she had to. Here's my thoughts on that. Courtney, of course, I mean, understands the character of Gail Weathers better than any of us. Uh, but the argument of this ruining her growth doesn't really register for me. In the original, we know she wrote a book and Sydney was placing blame on the wrong person because she thought Gail was wrong and didn't like her defending Cotton in this book. But we find out that Gail was right to do that because the man was actually innocent. Now, if people get hurt along the way, then so be it. That is what she that is what her mindset was. And in a lot of ways, the events of this franchise have shown us that she was right, because if she hadn't done what she did with that book and if the events that transpired in the original scream didn't transpire and if she wasn't one of the eyewitnesses to what Billy and Stu were doing, Cotton Cotton could have ended up, ended up in a very different predicament. Now, of course, Cotton still died, but, you know, he didn't go down with people believing he did something he didn't. So if. In Scream 6, now that we know that she has written a new book, this book, of course, Baton, is based off the events in 5. Sam clearly isn't happy about it. However, Sam, again, probably had rumors circulating online after the events of 5 and even prior to Gail writing this book. Misinformation about her is clearly being spread because we know she didn't kill anyone in Scream 5, but yet people believe she did and is damaging her reputation. So if that's being spread online, I wouldn't be too shocked to learn that people were already carrying around a rumor that she was Billy Loomis's daughter, and that was making its way online. So who better to help clear her name than Gail Weathers, who can also benefit because she gets to tell the real story, like she did with Cotton, add to her fame as well, like she did with Cotton, and she's fighting against the misinformation that's out there, like she did with Cotton. So what Sam probably didn't like is how her book did confirm the rumors about her being Billy's daughter. Just like how Sydney didn't like that she was painting Cotton as as innocent and also just making Sydney's mother's death be relived through the media. And again, to some degree, it was worth it for the simple fact that Cotton was proved to be an innocent man in the long run. So, yes, Gail has grown, but she's also never abandoned her craft. And I think when it comes to Gail Weathers, she seems to do a lot better job at thinking long term in these things when it comes to thinking short term like Sydney was or maybe even how Sam is now because Sam is clearly only thinking about oh you let my secret out I mean here's the bigger picture people think you did the events of five her writing this book is doing you a favor if she's painting you as the hero I genuinely think that is what Sam is upset about though she does not care about the bigger picture she's upset that Gail 
is confirming the rumors that she's Billy Loomis's daughter. And of course, the reason why Gail is a valid person is because Gail was right there with Sam during the thick of things. And this is how she learned that bit of information. She was on the scene with Sam. So Sam, ignoring all the complete context, is mad that Gail wrote the new book. And it, to some degree, it is understandable. But at the same time, I think that the internet was already out against Sam. So in a way, Gail is doing her a favor. Now, Gail might not tout those things in the movie, and I hope she does. But if she genuinely just wrote it just because it was something that was she couldn't resist, or maybe this is a coping mechanism for her to get over Dewey. I understand, man. You know, not everything is, is so not people's growth isn't so imperfect the way a lot of movies might make you think it is because there's a lot of points in a movie or in a franchise where a character's growth is consistent you never see them relapse gail though i think is a perfect character to constantly have her be this imperfect individual because she's still growing and learning but at the same time this is a very new era there's misinformation about somebody being spread and she could be doing sam a favor by telling them the truth but gail doesn't like that I mean, but Sam doesn't like that. So now she's mad at Gail. So she proved someone innocent before. So why not fight off the misinformation that's happening with Sam? That That's what I think is going on really in Gail's mindset. Of course, the other priorities come from your brand gets a lot of recognition and your fame is, of course, just enhanced as a result of that. So I think it all is going to come down to how this is interpreted by people. In a lot of ways, this book seems like it's going to be very important to the plot. I don't really see it as lazy writing as much as I do see it as something that if they didn't address it, it might be a little bit unrealistic. Because how can you have the events of Scream 5 unfold and then Sam's complete history of who she is doesn't find its way onto the Internet? That might be a little bit unrealistic. And then, of course, if it makes its way onto the Internet, I might be a little bit bothered if you had Gail just let it go around being misinformation when she was on scene with Sam. Tell us the truth. Tell us what happened. Put out that book. You will get a lot of attention because of the track record you'd have and because of what you did for Cotton Weary. Sam might just be upset because she's ignoring the bigger picture here. And she doesn't like that people now know that she's the daughter of Billy to Billy Loomis. And she doesn't like that this is aiding in helping that spread. That's what she's most upset about. She's not looking at the bigger picture. But those are my thoughts on the whole book scenario. You can let me know what you think about that down in the comment section below. If you guys haven't already, of course, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, I will have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, of course, I will see you in the next video.